Hey everybody, and as you can tell by the title, Apple has released its newest version of its Final Cut um, editing studio. So uh, let's take a look at its new features and uh, the costs and everything. And um, there's these uh, videos here which I recommend watching because they're very neat. Um, it shows Final Cut Studio in action uh, by real studios and professional filmmakers. So, yeah. So let's just take a look at what's new in Final Cut Studio. Number four. Or, yeah. And, um, this really caught my eye. iChat Theater Support. Uh, what it does is essentially it allows you to uh, play your uh, clips over iChat with another person which I found really um, interesting. Now let's just scroll down. <clears throat> uh, I'll give a link to this uh, web page in the video description so you can go through it more thoroughly. <clears throat> And uh, Motion 4, I really uh, like the changes they did to it. <clears throat> it's a uh, very uh, improved, uh, yes. And uh, what I really found that caught my eye was uh, Blu-ray disc and DVD burning. That really caught my eye and uh, I think this is a great new feature from Apple allowing you to uh, burn on Blu-ray. Alright, and now uh, let's uh, see the costs of this. Uh, Final Cut uh, Express will be $200 and the Final Cut Express upgrade will be $100. The new Final Cut Studio will be $1,000 bit of a hefty price for the average consumer but uh, I think that it's not really aimed for average users it's aimed for more advanced users well that essentially is what Final Cut is like the advanced movie editing software I'm thinking about getting either the Express or Studio version I'm not sure if there's a trial, I might try out the studio version and then purchase it later. Look for a tutorial on tutorial slash review on it uh, later this week or so. Alright, thanks for uh, watching this video and uh, peace.